Welcome, I'm filming is a Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So, when you put it up for the first time, you will be presented with well, this screen right over here. So start off by choosing your desired language right under here. So click on it and then find whichever language you want to use. Now I'll be sticking with English, so there we go. From there, let's select get started, which will bring us to important information. Uh, AKA terms of service. It's not important to you, it's important to them so they don't get lawsuits. So anyway, let's select uh, the only uh, two things that we do need to select, which is the, uh, what is it? Uh, warranty, safety, etc. Uh, very greatly said, uh, warranty as hell, uh, etc. Uh, so that can fall under anything. And I'm aware of the data charge uh, may apply. Uh, okay, that's probably to do with your sim card, not really the phone, but anyway, we have to select it. And this brings us to the next page, which is connecting to our mobile network. Uh, so this would require us to insert a sim card. I don't really feel like doing this right, right now. The only benefit of this is that later on you can simply skip connecting to Wi-Fi if you just want to have some kind of network connection, which throughout the process will allow you to log into your Google account and date and time will be set automatically. Without any kind of internet connection, uh, Google Pages is kind of skipped and uh, date and time is uh, shown to you so you can fix it up if it's incorrect. Now, if you're planning to change that later on uh, to connect to Wi-Fi or any kind of network, uh, you don't have to bother uh, with the date and time. It will be set automatically the moment it has some kind of network. Uh, but Google, you will need to go through settings and add it manually. So there's the Wi-Fi, like I mentioned. I'm going to set it up offline, like I also mentioned. And there's the date and time. Uh, so obviously you can fix it up, or if you're like me, disregard it, because I'm going to be connecting to network anyway later on. Then we have Google services, so we have location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now you can tap on the drop down right here to read exactly what these do, but basically the short version of it is location uses GPS tracking to help apps like Google Maps basically define your location and give you an accurate route to your destination if you're planning to use it as a navigation application. Then we have scanning, allows the device to basically scan for signals like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. And lastly, we have send user and diagnostic data, allows Google to basically spy on you and send the information to themselves. Uh, no thanks. So from there, we can proceed further. And this brings us to the screen lock. So by default, it opts into a four digit pin. As you can see right here, uh, but it can tap on screen lock options, which also gives you an option between pattern and password. So if you want to use one of those, go right ahead. I'll be using a pattern right here. So let's just draw it, tap on next, repeat it, confirm, and that will set it up. Now it also goes straight to uh, fingerprint. Now if you want to add one, go right ahead. The sensor is on the side right here, uh, but if you don't feel like just adding a fingerprint, you can simply skip it. Now additionally, if you want to add a fingerprint, you are always required to add some kind of screen, like either be pin pattern or password. And from here we have um, continue setup. Yeah, let's continue. Uh, navigation uh, style, and that's completely up to you. If you prefer the three button gesture that you might be used to, go right ahead. And if you prefer gestures, uh, which is what I prefer, uh, then simply select it, go to the next page. Anything else? Nope. And this should give us access to home screen after we click on finish. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.